If you have trouble making decisions, I guarantee you you're lacking one of the most attractive qualities a man could have to a woman, and also one of the most attractive qualities a man could have to anybody, to be honest. Procrastination, the opposite of decision, stops men in their tracks from succeeding in life, and we're going to talk about that today here in this video. Um, uh, so is lack of decision or procrastination stopping you? Do you have trouble going for your dreams? Do you sit there and think about them all day long and not get anywhere? Um, do you second guess yourself a lot? Uh, are you e easily influenced by the opinion of others? This is huge. It constantly stops people from getting to where they need to be, worrying too much about what other people think. Um, and I want to talk about this today because, uh, well, I want to talk specifically about uh, a book called Think and Grow Rich. Because I think Think and Grow Rich, this book that was written in 1937, it was a study of about 500 successful people over 25 years where they followed them in their daily lives. This, uh, this book really has one of the most powerful chapters on making a decision and busting through uh, uh, procrastination I've ever read. And I think everybody that really has a problem in this area should read that chapter multiple times. I'm going to read a couple bits from that chapter. I'm going kind of, uh, to, to kind of start the talk and kind of get everything going. Um, so the first one, uh, accurate analysis of over 25,000 men and women who had experienced failure disclosed that lack of decision was near the head of the list of 30 major causes of failure. This is no mere statement of theory, it's a fact. Lack of decision was near the head. That's 25,000 men and women. Um, procrastination is the opposite of decision. Uh, it's the common enemy which practically every man must conquer if he wants to be successful at anything in life. You have to conquer procrastination, number one. Um, people who fail to accumulate money without exception, have the habit of reaching decisions, if at all, very slowly and changing their decisions quickly and often. So do you make decisions slowly and then change your mind often? It's one of the worst behaviors a human being can have. Um, and the last part, this is on opinion. The majority of people who fail to accumulate money sufficient to their needs are generally e easily influenced by the opinions of others. Are you easily in influenced by the opinions of others? They permit the newspapers and the gossiping neighbors to do their thinking for them. Opinions are the cheapest commodities on earth, and everyone has a flock of opinions ready to be wished upon anyone who will accept them. If you're influenced by opinions when you reach a decision, you will not succeed in any undertaking, much less that of transmuting your desire into money, success, dates, whatever it is that you're going for. Um, so the last part, this is the last part that I want to read from this book because this is probably the most important part. Analysis of several hundred people who had accumulated fortunes well beyond the million dollar mark disclosed the fact that every one of them had the habit of reaching decisions promptly and changing these decisions slowly. Reaching decisions promptly, changing these decisions slowly, if and when they were ever changed. To learn and grow, you need to follow a decision through. You know, I, uh, I, I grew up here in California, and there's a lot of people here that say, I just want to go with the flow. I wasn't feeling it. Or they, they get an idea, and they want to go for it. And they start going for that idea, but then what happens? They, well, I wasn't feeling it a week later. What they're really saying is the tension started to build. The story started to build in my head about being seen, failing, somebody not liking what I'm doing. My brother gave me an opinion. My girlfriend gave me an opinion, whatever it is. And I started to feel vulnerable and weak, so I quit. That's what I hear every time I hear that. Because successful people, when they make a decision, they follow it through to a conclusion. It doesn't have to be all the way to a million dollars, but a conclusion, an experience, whether it's two months, three months, till they see a certain result, till they move through those stories, at least to a degree, before they make a new decision. Because if you don't, then you're just going to repeat that pattern the rest of your life. You're never going to build the experience of following something through until you experience accomplishment. But if you do follow something through, my God, the, the sense of accomplishment in your body is huge. It's like we have a container inside of ourselves that tells us um, how much we can have in our lives, what we're allowed to have, what we can have come into our lives. And as every time we accomplish a huge goal, or even a little goal, that container gets a little bigger, and then more success, more abundance flows into our life in response to that. So I highly recommend you start to go for it. You start to make decisions and you start to follow them through, even little tiny decisions, and start to learn to really build this part of your life up. Now I'm going to read that one part one more time just so you have it. Uh, the, uh, every, every one of these people that broke a million dollar mark had the, decision, uh, had the habit of reaching decisions promptly and changing these decisions slowly. Reaching decisions promptly, changing these decisions slowly. So how do you develop this habit in your life? Um, 
the first thing you can do is start to practice with little things. Maybe it's what you're having for lunch. You're one of those people that takes forever and you can't make up your mind and you're meandering. Start to learn to, to make a decision promptly. Say, I'm going to choose this. Follow it through. Even if you don't like it, you're going to learn from that. And then the next day you'll make a new decision and a new decision. As you get better at this, you're going to get better at choosing something you like right away and moving. If you start to amplify this through all areas of your life, how much time are you going to save? How much experience are you going to have? How many results are you going to have? It's huge. I also recommend that you start journaling this as you make bigger and bigger decisions. Start journaling your experience, what you're learning from it, what you're getting from it, what you're, uh, what, what's happening to your life in return. See, your life is, is like a concentric, uh, I think David Data talks about it. You've got a, a tree that's cut and there's concentric circles on it. And, those, and every time you make a decision and follow it through, you're, you're stepping into one of those circles and you're slowly moving in as you get closer and closer and closer and closer to the center. And as you get closer to the center, you start to really figure out who you are and what you want. But if you're unwilling to make decisions and you keep sitting there thinking and changing your mind and I'm not sure I want this, then you stay on the outer rung forever and your life never goes anywhere. So who's ready to start making decisions in their life? If you are, Go for it. Get that journal and start now.